<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome back. And today we have um, something special. I could say something special. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. This getting a bit too much, but oh well. Um. So you went to London to the Orchid Show. Uh, to a chess show and uh, of course it's gonna be the uh, plant um, like vendors it was one from um, Taiwan uh, but it's I mean it's from Ecuador so basically we're bringing plants uh, I've seen there uh, sh like display before where, well we don't really do display where like just um just putting some plants on and just doing sales mostly and um, yeah so this time I went and uh, I literally bought only all plants from them. So I bought like four plants from them, and um, because it's a f kind of affordable, and we have like nice plants, which was in my wish list for like forever, or I haven't even know they existed, so I don't find them. So yeah, let's start with the plants, and um, I'm really excited to. Uh, able have to have them and to be able to find them and first of all this one is like I was so shook um, and this one is a Phragmapedium it's it has two new growth it bloomed previously so this new fern is like fading away but it was blooming before and uh, it's one and only is Phragmapedium um, Fetchenburg, which is extremely hard to find and it's really rare and to find this size with two like you know with two big um, um, ferns it's um it's I was shook <laughs> and uh, yeah it cost only like because I bought two plants together with uh, like cast it together we cost like um, 65 pounds so I asked for 50 if you could if he could sell it and he sell for 55 so it's 10 pounds save but yeah so this one it has like that um deep like purple color well it mostly says red but in the picture was seeing purple so i'm hoping it's only be purple but i'm really really excited about this one like really excited and uh, i'm kind of hoping this one might bloom it didn't have too much roots but it's it's a big plant. It's, it looks nice. I've planted the semi hydro, and then we have this lycaster which I bought together, which is lycaster Maria Liz. It's like that deep burgundy red color. If I try, if I find picture, I will insert it. And um, it has like four, four bulbs. One of them is in um, growth mode, and this one I think so. This one is not losing all of the leaves it stays like with the leaves and um until uh, the new growth mature i believe it looks like because this leaves are like previous year i believe and uh, this is the new growth just here and it's just like looks freshly new it has some kind of you know infection but it, it, it looks like it stopped it doesn't spread anymore but that's good and um yeah, it looks good. I planted in like kind of semi hydro with um, perlite to be like more like I guess drying out more. So let's see how it goes. But I might three put it to actual semi kind of semi hydro because these spots have bottom uh, like holes in the bottom and it had like I keep like container of like um, water container of water in the bottom and it kind of semi-hydro but not full semi-hydro so let them more like dry out and this one I always always wanted it it's um that beautiful well they have like plants in bloom with this one it's um Francis Fox uh, and you know the the one which has like fragrant flowers and have like really like frilly lips so i really really wanted it and i found it and we had like quite a few of them so i bought 
which one which bloomed previously twice but this one on the show we had like on display it was a bit like the colors was not so vivid was really like faded so i'm hoping it's not that because on the picture on next to the plant we had them um, um the plant you had them um, really like the, those vivid colors and on display was really really pale so i'm hoping it's not and yeah it didn't have any roots basically we have few roots but usually for me cattleyas or leilas uh, we bounce back quite easily um and we grow quite easily so i planted it semi hydro just i don't in some surround some perlite in it i'm not sure what to set up i might change it just i'll run out of actual um pebbles so i need to get to order some new ones and the last but not least this is really beautiful well if the old room smelt of it it's hibiscus not hibiscus it's one of mm, i can't remember the name now but yeah these are very fragrant and i love the scent of them so in the spring i always try to get them and i really enjoy the smell of them because the whole room it fills up it's i got this dendrobium and yeah it's that fragrant one is the dendrobium red tem uh, red uh emperor and yeah it has it has roots it's pla it pla it's planted in um like peat moss i believe and it has loads of buds but look at those canes it's just ridiculous I, in the show, I even saw, you know, some of them was, like, even cracked from the size, like, from such a, like, I don't know what we're pumping in it, what we're giving, what fertilizers we're using, but we do something in those nurseries, which we're pumping some chemicals, who knows what, to those canes to plumb that much that it's just going crazy and some of them was really cracked and i even said like what what are you doing what you feeding them that you even know plump up that much to crack so um, yeah but it's it looks nice well we'll see how it blooms well i see the blooms in a show so it's always the those deep red with a brown uh, kind of uh, throat but yeah should be nice it has two new growth so one is here one is there small one so it should be interesting and yeah this is from before I ordered from Netherlands this um pragmapedium but it's the wings with the basic one but it has a lot of new growths same in semi hydra this is another story it'll make make us maybe I'll make a separate separate video and Show your baby. This is like a bunch of different plants, Calias. Uh, this one is in bloom. And yeah, everything's growing slowly. Hopefully, it will bloom more. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, leave some feedback, leave some comments and. Uh, See you in a bit. Bye.